Hello friends, I'm back again. Um, this time I'm going to do another change to my hair. Um, for those of you who have been following, this is my series of videos on how I'm going from dark brown hair to silver white. Now you're probably looking at me saying, you're not making any progress. Oh yes I am. <laughs> um, I was worried about uh, how my hair looked for the wedding. I told you that I was going to my son's wedding in August and I wanted to make sure that you know, I wasn't in some awkward stage. So what I did was I only colored the very front of my hair. That way when I'm wearing my wigs it all blends in very nicely. So while I'm at the wedding nobody could tell what is going on with my hair and back here that's where it's still growing out and now I'm going to the next phase where I'm going to go to a beauty shop for one treatment and I'm going to have my hair frosted but one thing that I'm concerned about is the very back of my hair looks black whereas the front is brown and then the roots are white and then the very back is black so what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to try a natural treatment at home to lighten my hair I'm going to use hydrogen peroxide in a little spray bottle and I'm going to spend some time outdoors in the sun and what that will do is kind of lighten up all that black because I really don't want that black there and and I'm, st I'm going to try to protect the front of my hair that's colored because I'm still going to be wearing a wig for a little bit until I'm actually ready to go to the beauty shop because when I go when I do this I'm going to do this once I'm just going to hopefully if it works out since I have saved my white roots back here I will be able to just go into the shop and have them match the color of my white roots and then just kind of give me a frosted look so that hopefully I don't have to wear wigs anymore and I can just let my hair grow naturally. Now I hope that's how it's going to work. So what I'll do is I'm going to test lightening the back of my hair tomorrow um, in, the, in the daytime because right now it's nighttime so I can't do it. But uh, hydrogen peroxide is a natural ingredient. Actually, you know, I've been using this as a face wash. I just get my little um, pads and put some hydrogen peroxide on, and I've been washing my face. It makes a great uh, natural face, face washer. And <clears throat> I've also been using it in my laundry soap, because I make my own laundry soap. And hydrogen peroxide is is an awesome cleaner and I can use it like a bleach and but it's less harmful it's na more natural matter of fact the other day I had a stain on my carpet I mixed hydrogen peroxide with uh, baking soda and stirred it up and I dumped it on the stain and I just used a, a scrub brush and I didn't even have to scrub very hard and whoa this the, the stain was gone so it's, it's, it's an awesome cleaner um, but um, if it will, you know, bring out some highlights in my hair, then it will hopefully I can just kind of strip out some of the black that's back there <clears throat> without destroying my hair. See, I don't want to go to a beauty shop and say, uh, color my hair white, and they're going to say, oh, we're going to have to strip out all that black, and we're going to have to bleach your hair, and then that could damage the hair. I, I am trying to avoid damaging my hair. So the least amount of chemical processing as possible is what my goal is. And um, for those of you who don't believe that my hair is actually colored, I'm going to remove my wig so that you will be able to see that I'm telling the truth. You see, um, I use a little bit of my own hair around the front that I just kind of blend in with the wig. I'm going to remove the wig and then from the front you're like oh, I don't see anything different no not yet Just hold on you can set that aside 
Um, let me just take out the uh, pins and combs that I have in my hair. And then I'm going to show you what I have going back here. This is what I've been hiding by the wigs. You see, the front, you really cannot see a difference. All right, now I'm going to show you what's really happening back here. See, I have these white roots that I'm hiding. It looks kind of strange, but you see the, the back of my hair, I did actually try a little bit of peroxide on some of these. You can kind of see a few highlights, so I kind of tested it out, but I still have a lot of dark back here. So tomorrow what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my spray and I'm going to spray this and I'm just going to go spend some time in my garden and uh, let this hair just kind of lighten it up so it's not so dark. I kind of like that color back there. And the color that I put on the front of my hair is, is a lighter brown than, it's like a shade lighter than what, see this is real like really black and this is kind of a reddish brown. And then where I put the highlights, you can see, I think you might be able to see a little bit of difference right there, where it's a little bit lighter. And see, I, I didn't want to um, lose this white because I want them to be able to match, to match that white. Look at that, I got about two inches of white hair back there. See, if I want to, I can sometimes if I just put my hair a certain way, I can kind of hide just a little bit of what's going on. But I can only get away with that for a little bit of time. So it's just easier to wear a wig because if the wind blows, it's going to reveal <laughs> that funny white streak down in the middle of my head. So um, tomorrow I'm going to just lighten only the back. So I'll probably take all of this that's in the front and I'll probably just braid it and just kind of put it out of the way and then just spray only the back. Spend some time in the garden and that should lighten my hair. I suppose the longer I spend outdoors, the longer that, the more, the, the more dark color that it will strip out. And that's very natural. And then right before I go to the beauty shop, I don't want to have all this dark hair either but I'll wait until the day before I have my appointment. I will do the same thing with this hair. So that way I can kind of lighten all the rest of my hair. And then when I go in to get my frosting, it'll be one treatment and one treatment only. And then hopefully no more wigs and I can just let it grow naturally and just let the white kind of grow out. Yeah, I hope it looks good. So anyways, that's my plan. And um, I guess um, the next video, I should have my natural hair and I'll still be in a transition but hopefully it's a transition that I can enjoy and that I'll be happy with it because I only just have a few months left before my grandsons, I found out we're having two boys, um, my daughter's having a, a boy and my son is having a boy so I'm going to have two grandsons and of course they won't remember what color my hair is but I want to celebrate by having gray hair because I am not going to be one of those women who are 70 years old and you know that's not their natural color and they wear all this makeup and bright red lipstick and the clothes that a 21 year old would wear. I am not going to look like a fool. When I'm an old woman, I want to look like an old woman. I want to be dignified and good looking, but um, I'm not going to look ridiculously like I'm trying to be 25. I want to look the part and, you know, fit the image of the grandmother. See, what I don't want to have to do is I don't want to have to cut my hair. I love, I love long hair. Now, I've, I, some people, when they're trying to 
do what I'm doing by going from dark brown to silver white, they just cut their hair all off. I've thought of that. I thought, yeah, I could just leave all this here, cut everything back there, and just let it grow up. <laughs> but I, I can't stand not having long hair. So I want to keep my length as much as possible. And my hair still feels really good. It's soft and it's silky and it's got a lot of body and I can curl it and it will hold the curl. So if I can preserve the healthiness of my hair without destroying it by chemicals, I will be happy if I can keep my long hair. Yes, I'm not going to be like all the old women that have short hair. I'm going to be an old woman with long white hair and have fun styling it because I'm me. I'm not like everybody else. I don't follow the crowd. I make my own way. So, that is my conclusion for this video until we get to the next phase. This is about um, learning to accept age with grace and not trying to look like I'm 25 because I am not 25 anymore. So, this is how I put my hair up on hot days when I'm at home. And from the front, it looks okay. It's just from the back, you can see different colors kind of peeking through. But it's okay from around the house. <clears throat> so, until the next phase. We'll see you in the next video.